possibly get. New bowler. Yogret Singh is being reintroduced into the attack. He's still got five overs to bowl. Yogurt Singh bowing with the assistance of the breeze. Conditions still very warm, but ideal for cricket. Fast outfield, good seeing day. Jeremy Coney on 27. Change his guard to leg stump. Well, with nine overs remaining. 53 now, 52 runs required. Six runs and overs, the order of the day. New Zealand with a real chance. Five wickets in hand. Wickets playing probably at its best now. The ball doesn't seem to be moving about so much. Good true wicket. Plenty of gaps there on the onside for Jeremy Coney. Backward square leg, deep backward square leg, a mid-wicket on the fence, mid-on coming around to squarish position. Yograd Singh, just above medium pace. Got the hook shot. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Very excited bowler, if nothing else. Well, that was a double piece of bluff. Coney bluffed Yograt Singh into thinking he was going through for a single. Yograt Singh thereupon bluffed Jeremy Coney that he picked the ball up. There's Coney thinking of going for a single. Yograt Singh running straight past the ball. Experienced cricketers at the wicket. Burgess and Coney. Gets it away nicely down to deep fine leg. He's built pretty economically. He's the type of bowler who really skids onto the batsman. He really doesn't get on his toes and dig the ball in. And that could be a little bit awkward for Mark Burgess because those bowlers are a little bit awkward to get away. Gets out, gets it fine. That's available four runs. Didn't quite uh, middle it, but Bird just swung it fine. The man at square leg is very deep and very square. Pretty bad direction there from the other way. Fairly fine. Just on side field. Briscoe coming around to try and cut off the single at mid wicket. Bowled him! Middle peg trying to force the ball through the offside. A vital breakthrough for India. Well bowled. Well, that could be it. Mark Burgess looking for the drive. And Yorked almost by that ball that went straight through his defences. There it goes. It wasn't a Yorker, but in fact, Burgess left a gap between bat and pad trying to run the ball. And so he's been bowled by Yogwit Singh. And the sixth wicket is down with 158 runs on the board. Please, the battle is not over until the last shot has been fired. And That's the situation. Jeremy Cohen is under pressure now. Yeah. He's pulled that down to deep back with square leg. Happy with one. Richard Hadley yet to score. Oops. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> no word, there's some pressure on out there. <laughs> Jeremy Coney was always at home. But the Indians had a ping at the stumps. It almost seems to me, Bill, as though we're watching a reenactment. <laughs> he's hit that in the air. He's hit it straight. He's getting under it. And is out. Ben Sarka taking a well judged catch. Richard Hadley hits straight and long. Vital wicket, a good catch under pressure. Hadley out without scoring. Good piece of cricket, this, because the Mascar knew that Hadley was a very strong hitter in this area. I guess who's out there? One of his surest catches in Ben Sarka. And Hadley is out without even scoring a single. He could have scored a very quick 50. If he'd got his eye in, he's, the total's now you're first limited over game in the tour for himself, of course. It's hit hard and high down a backward square lead coming around. Doesn't stop it, does some soccer. Kicks it over the fence. Four runs, available four runs. 